Every dog breed is beautiful in its little way. However, we'd agree that certain pups have that awe effect more than others. Likewise, size doesn't seem to matter when it comes to dogs as these critters, whether big or small, will always have a special place in our hearts. After all, they're man's best friend. But some people don't want to let go of the feeling of cuddling a puppy, so they opt for dog breeds that won't outgrow their lap. Well, in today's video, we'll be talking about breeds that got the best of both worlds. And judging by how contentious it would be to rank these poochies by cuteness, here are the 20 smallest and cutest dog breeds in the world that will melt your heart and leave you wanting more. So without much ado, let's jump right in. Number 20. Pug We kick off today's video with an undeniably cute breed, the Pug. Pugs are a little bundle of joy with their cute little monkey faces and square bodies. Anyone who's ever owned one would know it's hard to walk them down the street without someone bending over to dote over your dog. They've also got this mischievous side to them that make them all the more fascinating. Pugs were originally bred to be lap dogs by the Shang Dynasty in 300 BC, and since then, they've done a darn good job at being companion dogs. But they weren't always this small. Just as with Pomeranians, we'll talk more about them in a bit. Pugs were first imported to the Netherlands from China. Then the breeder, who's probably somewhere in the great beyond marveling at his work, decided to breed them to make them smaller. The turn of the 19th century brought loads of popularity for pugs, especially since Queen Victoria had several of them, which she bred herself. Her involvement inspired the creation of the Kennel Club in 1873, which is acknowledged as the first kennel club in the world. According to the club, a pug is a lot of dog in a small frame. So who are we to argue? Number 19. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel You might have guessed from its name where this bundle of cuteness originates. Yep, it's from the United Kingdom. But the ones we have today differed slightly from their ancestral parents from the 17th century. Cavaliers, for shorts, were interbred initially with flat-nosed breeds and the current look was then attempted by other breeders in the early 1900s. However, it wasn't until 1928 that the first breed standard for the Cavalier was created, along with the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Club. They're a breed that thrives on affection and is excellent as a companion dog or lap dog thanks to their happy, adaptable, and loving demeanor. They're enchanting, joyous, and gentle. Standing no more than 13 inches and weighing about 18 pounds, Cavaliers offer a lot of love in their tiny, gracious bodies. They were recognized by the AKC in 1995. Great with pets, kids, and elderly people, Cavaliers are a must-have for every household. Number 18. Japanese Chin If you assumed that the Japanese Chin originated from Japan, taking a hint from its name, you're slightly correct. However, it's believed that the Japanese Chin originated from China before being exported to Europe from Japan. It wasn't until the Japanese opened trade with the rest of the world in 1854 that the breed gained attraction in the Western Hemisphere. Famed for their strabismus eyes, soft and straight coats, and a tail curved over their back, leaning on either side, Japanese Chin are adorable and ideal for companion and lap dogs. They're also known for their chin spin. They weigh in between 7 and 11 pounds and are 8 to 11 inches tall. Nonetheless, they've got plenty of personality beneath their small hood. Take note, Japanese chins are exceptionally great with kids and are generally quiet dogs. They're not high-energy dogs and might not require a great deal of exercise. These loving dogs with irresistible faces were once the companions of royalty. So you best treat them as such. Number 17. Boston Terrier Characterized by their tuxedo coat and expressive round dark round eyes, Boston Terriers are lovable dogs, and anyone who's ever met one would agree. They're such an amusing, intelligent canine companion with their small, compact body, weighing and measuring between 20 and 25 pounds and 11 to 17 inches tall, respectively. While they're called Boston Terriers, plot twist, they aren't entirely Terriers. You see, in the 1860s in England, a Bulldog and White Terrier were used to produce the progenitor of the Boston Terrier we currently have. Some years later, in Boston, the same parents were used for the same result to create a breed fit for their horrific dogfighting sport. <laughs> but the Boston Terrier has put its rough-and-tumble past behind it to become a perfect companion for everyone. 
with their dapper looks, gentle, mannerly disposition, and tuxedo coat, coupled with the fact that they were originally bred in the U.S., Boston Terriers have been aptly nicknamed the American Gentleman. Number 16. Shih Tzu Can you guess where the Shih Tzu originated? Not so smart, huh? Well, that's what we're here for. Shih Tzus are believed to be products of the crossbreeding between a Pekingese and a Lhasa Apso and were presented to the Chinese emperors around the end of the 17th century. The emperors were so enchanted by this adorable dog that they ensured no Shih Tzu was sold, traded, or given away. This continued until 1930 when the breed made its way to Europe and the rest of the world. Their name, which is Chinese for lion, was assigned because the dogs were bred to resemble a lion as it appears in traditional oriental art. Weighing between 9 to 16 pounds and measuring about 8 to 11 inches, the Shih Tzu is a cute, charming, and downright adorable dog with a friendly and affectionate personality. They have a distinct long silky coat, short legs, and large soulful eyes. However, they might be a lot of work as they require frequent and consistent grooming. Number 15. Chihuahua For cute dogs that come in small packages, Chihuahuas are sure the smallest of the lot. Measuring only between 5 and 8 inches, Chihuahua pride themselves on being the smallest cute dogs in history. In fact, the smallest dog in history was a Chihuahua called Miracle Millie, with a weight of approximately 1 pound and only 3.8 inches in height. They're one of the most popular smaller dog breeds in the world and are also very territorial. But what they lack in size, they make up for in personality. And boy, what a personality we're talking about. Chihuahuas are known to boss their owners around if they're not given guidance and always want to have their way. Therefore, they're not quite the dogs for small kids. On the flip side, they have loads of energy and sass, making them fun and loving companions. Number 14. Papillon Next, we've got one of the oldest dog breeds, the Papillon. Most of Papillon's history can be traced through paintings. For example, Tiziano Vicelli, also known as Titian, painted small dogs that looked like Papillons with many of the companion dogs that lived in the mid-1500s. Also, a Papillon was seen in the family portrait of Louis XIV. The first set of known Papillons had a curled tail over the back, making people call them the Squirrel Spaniel. Papillons are affectionate, smart, and very energetic, so you need to keep them engaged if you don't want them chowing down on your socks and just about anything in the house. They're also great with dog sports despite their small size. Did you know their name is French for butterfly? Like butterfly wings, their large, elegant ears earned them the moniker Butterfly Dog. Number 13. Havanese Havanese is a breed that embodies the term clingy. Nicknamed the Velcro Dog, these adorable little pooches enjoy the company of their owner 24-7. They love to cuddle, are charming, and are warm towards humans and fuzzballs alike. Their beautiful, soft, easy maintenance coat is one of the reasons why they're everyone's sweetheart. They're about 8.5 to 12.5 inches tall and can weigh as much as 13 pounds. Interestingly, Havanese is the national dog of Cuba and were introduced to the United States during the Cuban Revolution. The AKC recognized them in 1996 as a toy breed, but they're also useful as therapy, assistance, and signal dogs. They're descendants of the now extinct Bichon Tenerife and Blanquito de la Habana, which means little white dog of Havana. Number 12. Miniature Pincher Another fluffball to love up to is the Miniature Pincher. These guys are believed to have originated from Germany and are also Minpin, a cooler name. Similar to their German counterparts, the German Pinschers, but about half their size, Minpins are very brave and energetic. This fun-loving, friendly dog breed is said to be the cross between German Pinschers and Dachshunds or Italian Greyhounds. They're classified as toy dogs, but also make great companion dogs. So they're famously known as the king of the toys. An average miniature pincher is about 10 to 13 inches at the shoulder and weighs around 8 to 10 pounds. Known for their hackney gait, which means when a dog lifts his front feet high and bends the wrist like a hackney horse, these sturdy, smart dogs are affectionate toward cats and people, but are aggressive with other dogs. Guess they love being the only dog around. Number 11. Toy Poodle 
Meet the smallest of all poodles. The toy poodle is the smallest, with a weight of only 6 pounds tops and a height of 10 inches. Toy poodles are quite puzzling because they're incredibly self-confident but eager to please. And yeah, they're a bundle of energy and mischief. Don't let their diminutive size tell you otherwise. They were first noticed in the early 1900s in Paris when poodles were used in circuses. The circus guys appreciated that toy poodles were smaller and easier to transport and handle when traveling in circuses. Toy poodles then found purpose outside the circus by becoming popular companion dogs. Toy poodles are excellent water retrievers and very intelligent, despite not being as fast and agile as the standard or miniature poodle. They also add high trainability to that impressive resume. For looks, the toy poodle sports a fancy haircut with a squarish body and large, dark-colored cute eyes. Number 10. French Bulldog The French Bulldog is one you can't mistake with its bat ears and mashed, wrinkly face. Although that might not be your idea of cute, trust me, they're downright irresistible. Playful, affectionate, charming, and smart, a French Bulldog is capable of turning anyone into an alluring fan of little dogs. Frenchies, as they're fondly called, are on the larger side of small dogs but can weigh as little as 28 pounds, stand about 11 to 13 inches tall, and have a muscular, compact build. Frenchies are rather quiet pups that don't bark often but will bark to let you know if someone is at the door. They're also alert and territorial, but don't expect them to be guard dogs. French Bulldogs also have a reputation for being a bit headstrong, but with a bit of patience and loads of treats, any French Bulldog can be trained. As with all short-nosed dogs, Frenchies have a low tolerance for humidity, heat, and too much exercise. Number 9. Dachshund From Doxy, Wiener Dog, to Hot Diggity Dog, the Dachshund goes by many cute names. These long-bodied pooches are feisty, spunky, and have a bark bigger than them. Dachshunds can be very curious and are ready to test your boundaries, but with the proper training and patience, you'd get along just fine. Dachshunds were originally bred to sniff out badgers, and this continued for over 600 years, earning them their name, which is German for badger dog. Their loud barks enabled the hunters to locate them wherever. But once that was over, Dachshunds were kept for their clever attributes and were traditionally viewed as symbols of Germany. A standard Dachshund is about 8 to 9 inches and weighs between 16 and 32 pounds, while the miniature is between 5 to 6 inches and 11 pounds or under. Both types are known for their signature long bodies and short legs. They're confident with high alertness and have coats that can either be smooth, wire-haired, or long-haired. Number 8. Chinese Crested Meet the Chinese Crested, a hypoallergenic dog that also has a hairless variation. Like other hypoallergenic dogs, the Chinese Crested is perfect for people with pet allergies. They're easily recognized by their pink skin, spiky crested hairdo, feathery tail, and furry socks. Chinese Crested breed can be a handful as they are super energetic, alert, frolicsome, and want to be around their humans all the time. This lively toy breed stands between 11 and 13 inches in height, weighs about 8 to 12 pounds, and can be coated or hairless. The coated variety is called the Powder Puff because of their puffy, silky coats, while the not-so-coated variety has a smooth, soft skin with tufts of hair on their tails, head, and head ankles. The hairless variants are preferred to the coated ones because they have no doggy odor and don't have much to shed, if you know what I mean. Number 7. Maltese Although Maltese dogs have been our sweethearts for a long time, little is known about their origin. Nonetheless, many historians believe they might have originated from Malta. It's theorized that these small dogs were brought to the island by the Phoenicians when they colonized it and may have contributed to how they spread across the world as Phoenicians sailed and traded around the known world. Uh, no. No. <laughs> they needed dogs to keep pesky rodents off the ship and sometimes bartered the dogs for food. However, on Malta, Maltese were companions and comforters. Maltese are known for their long coats and fashionable haircuts for all dog breeds. The haircuts range from standard cut, bob cut, show cut, puppy clip, teddy bear cut, and anything their owner deems cute. They're gentle, sweet, and great low-maintenance companion pets ideal for every home. 
Maltese can reach about 7 to 9 inches and weigh between 6 and 9 pounds. They're also super playful and aren't demanding, but will play when you're ready. Number 6. Pekingese with their large, short, muzzled head and large, dark, sparkly eyes, Pekingese are a hard breed to train. They might be an intelligent toy breed, but submission doesn't come with their package. It must be taught and at a very early stage. Given a chance, a Pekingese wouldn't complete tasks on command and harsh training methods don't work either. But conversely, they're very friendly, especially around family, but are hostile to strangers as their natural watchdogs. Pekingese share the same heritage as Shih Tzu. They're also called lion dogs and were exclusive companions of ancient Chinese royalties. Peaks are compact, stocky toy dogs that measure between 6 and 9 inches and weigh as much as 14 pounds. They're loyal, sassy dogs with a distinct rolling gait. Number 5. Pomeranian It might interest you to know that Pomeranians weren't always this tiny. Currently measuring between 5 to 8 inches in height and weighing in about 4 and 6 pounds, Poms once weighed as much as 30 pounds, several times greater than what the breed weighs today. How did they reduce to this size? Well, years of breeding have made Poms go from a medium-sized breed to a small lap dog. Also, they exhibit several traits found in companion dogs. They love to be the center of attention, have a heart the size of their initial weight, and develop strong bonds with their humans, but not so much with little children. Number 4. Brussels Griffin Say hello to the adorable Brussels Griffin. With its distinctive beard, take that away, and they instantly resemble a pug, but with a different temperament. Although they have many of the qualities of a companion dog, they're more alert than other companion dogs, which kind of gives them an edge. Brussels Griffons are small, spunky, and intelligent pooches with great personalities who love being around their humans and other dogs and cat. However, they're a bit shy and would be hostile toward strangers at first. Number 3. Cockapoo Dubbed the designer breed, cockapoos are a product of a cross between the English Cocker Spaniel and the Poodle and may well be the friendliest dog on the planet, never leaving his owner's side. Cockapoos have the brightest and purest smiles and don't shed much. They'd happily greet you at the door, offer themselves for cuddles, and eagerly follow you. Hence, this friendly, sociable dog makes an excellent therapy dog with their small size, approximately 20 pounds, being a plus for those who can get nervous around dogs. They were initially called the Cockadoodle, but that didn't catch on, so people opted to call them Cockapoos instead. I still don't understand the thinking behind that. Number 2. Bichon Frise The Bichon Frise is a breed whose ancestry dates back to the 13th century. Bichon Frises are believed to have originated around the Mediterranean and were the choice pups of Renaissance royalty. They eventually found their way to the United States in 1950 and became famous as show dogs. And in terms of cuteness, very few breeds come close to this little white ball of fluff. They're small, compact dogs with dark, inquisitive eyes and a cheerful disposition. Frises are highly trainable dogs that love to please their owners. They aren't noisy, love to play, are sociable, and are adaptable to weather changes. What's more, the Bichon Frise is hypoallergenic. Number 1. Yorkshire Terrier Yorkshire Terriers are unsurprisingly everyone's favorite as they pack a lot of personality into those tiny bodies. This hypoallergenic breed is among the smallest terrier-type dogs. They averagely weigh between 5 and 7 pounds but are packed with all the bravery and feistiness terriers are known for. What? What you feel? Fun fact! Did you know a Yorkshire Terrier has a statue in Cleveland for her heroic efforts in the Second World War? Well, Smokey was a dog found by a soldier in New Guinea during World War II. Her first assignment involved her running communication lines beneath an airstrip highly targeted by the Japanese. The mission's success helped save the lives of over 250 men and over 40 aircraft, not to mention the healing effect she had on recuperating soldiers on base. Old Smokey did score a point for her kind. And with that, we've come to the end of another exciting time on Forever Green. Was there a breed we left out that you believe deserves mention? Be sure to let us know in the comments section. You can also share your favorite breed from today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.